So you want to import your own custom Mario model. Well, it's quite simple. I'll explain it to you in less than 10 minutes. You need two things installed before you can start. The first thing is Decomp. I have a tutorial for that linked in the description. It's not as hard to set up as it may seem. Rovat has made a nice tutorial for you guys. The second thing is Blender and Fast64. To install Fast64, you wanna go into your Blender folder, into the scripts folder, add-ons, and you just want to download the repository here in the download direction and unpack it right over here. After you've done that, you can simply go to edit, preferences, add-ons, you type fast in here and it will be the first thing that shows up. You enable it and you get this whole menu and you're set up to go. Now that we're in Blender, we're going to post Mario. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to take this shoulder here and we're going to rotate it on the z-axis by 90 degrees, negative 90 degrees like this. Then we're gonna rotate it on the y-axis by 90 degrees. So this points upwards. Same what we do with the other shoulder. Rotate this, rotate this. All right, we wanna get Mario into the T position. Now the legs, you might be tempted to rotate on the z-axis, but that is wrong. You wanna also rotate this on the y-axis by 180 degrees. Next, you wanna take the feet and rotate these by 75 degrees, both of them. Now we have Mario in the T position. One smart thing we can do in Blender, we can do I and then R, which will set the rotation like this. If we would edit the model now, we would get Mario back into this position, which is his default model position. However, we can turn this on and now we actually see the model as it's positioned. Now the great thing about Fast64 is that it comes with a material creator for N64 materials. You don't need a whole lot of knowledge about N64 to actually make this work. I will explain to you a few formats that you can use and make a funny model in the process. All right, I'm going to make a few textures in Photoshop and then talk about what, what's possible with the textures and what's not possible. So the first possible texture type I want to talk about is intensity alpha 8 bits. You can make the 64 by 64. It has an alpha layer and it has grayscale color. You can use whatever you want to make sure you make your textures. I'm using Photoshop. All right, now that we've made the texture, we can load it into Mario 64. The first material preset I want to talk about is Decal on Shaded Solid. It places your texture on the model, just like this. And where the alpha channel would go, it places a color. Let's use a turquoise color for this. Takes a bit to load. All right, here's our little green Mario. I don't like this color quite yet. Uh, let's do this. The preview is not entirely accurate to what you will see in game, as I will show you in a bit. The next format I want to show you is called Intensity 8 bits. This type of texture only has grayscale, but it is extremely detailed. For this one, we're going to use a vertex color texture, because then we can add color using the vertex. By default, it doesn't show up quite right. That is because the material settings are a bit messed up by default. So if you disable Show Simplified UI, and you turn the alpha to 1 right here you can actually see it for now it's just black because i didn't set vertex colors or texture yet all right let's load a texture i'm going to use a somewhat noisy looking texture like this one here and then i have to vertex color it to vertex color it i have a hotkey with b just like this it's not uv map yet so let's just uh, give it a shitty uv map all good don't forget to assign the material and then uh, let's vertex color him uh, let's say we also want him to be vertex colors turquoise here and then like i don't know a darker turquoise here whatever i just want to show you guys how it works the next type of material i want to show you is a bit more complex to set up but it's definitely worth the visual results so what i'm gonna do for this i'm gonna texture this on here i'm gonna select these I'm going to create fast 3D material, which creates a new material. I'm going to assign this here. I'm going to use this vertex color texture. So as you can see right here, it um, depends on the shade color alpha, which is zero by default. What do you have to do for that? You have to go into the object data properties. You have to click on vertex colors and you have to create a new layer called alpha. And now on this alpha layer, it will actually store the vertex transparency. As you can see, now that I've actually applied the white color to the vertex transparency, 
the thing shows up. Uh, let's get rid of this real quick. And for a cool effect, we can like click these and set the vertex color transparency to zero here. That makes it look like the legs fade out if you are on the right layer, which we are not. We are on a weird layer called layer one. There are seven layers. The useful ones are layer one, which is for fully opaque geometry. Layer four, which is for cutouts, like an eye texture could work here. And there's transparent. Transparent, you have to be very careful of using it because it does not render properly in front of other transparent stuff. But I want to use transparent here for this cool fade out effect, which uh, you can't really see unless I make his legs a bit longer. Uh, yeah, now you can see how the legs kind of fade out. Yes, that is the effect I want. Another type of texture I want to talk about is RGBA16. RGBA16 can have all the colors, but it's limited to 64 by 32. So it's only half as detailed as the other stuff. But as you can see, well, you can't see it, but trust me, the colors would be all there. I just kind of messed it up. It's all good though. So now that we have our Mario model, and of course, I encourage you, you can experiment with this as much as you want. There are like many other material presets. You can write your own custom combiners. I do it all the time. It's very fun. But now that we have our custom Mario model set up, we want to go into the SM64 menu of Fast64. We want to check our DCOM repository. I use this one here uh, for the tutorial. And we want to press export armature geo layout to the Mario folder group zero with the Mario geo. Just like, all right, it seems I've made a mistake. It didn't export because even though I used the grayscale texture, Fast64 defaulted to using a CI4 which is a texture type limited to 16 colors. And that was more than 16 colors. And now it works. All right, now that we have exported our custom Mario successfully, we want to compile our ROM. Make J12 is what I use because I have 12 cores. You want to just write however many cores you have. And then let's export. Let's open the ROM and see. We have our custom Mario. This is a... Uh, Dead Ario, it's Mario, but he's a ghost, as you can see from his faded out legs. Yeah. As you can see, it's very easy to make your own custom Mario. Now, another thing for somewhat advanced users that I want to go over is vertex painting. So, there are some rules to this. If you want to vertex paint, every vertex can only be painted with zero or one, and every vertex can only belong to one bone at a time. So if you look at this leg here, it fully belongs to Sips, but I don't quite like that. And let's say I want the bottom to bend like to his knee. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this. I'm going to paint it with weight zero like that. I'm going to click this one and I'm going to paint this with weight one. And I'm going to do the same here on the other side this, paint this with weight 1, paint this with weight 0, and let's check this out. So this is connected, which the original Mario 64 was not capable of doing, but Fast64 actually allows you to do this. And there we go. I'm not sure well you can see the bend. It is slightly bending though, as you can see. There are cool effects you can do with this. I didn't do it, but trust me, there are cool effects you can do with this. All right, I hope that helps you guys. I hope you guys make some custom Mario models. I'm done. Bye-bye.